Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the official study manual 2021. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Always make sure the book is in front of you. Always make sure the book is in front of you when you're working with me. Today we'll solve some problem that you will find on page number 185. Please turn to it. Page number 185. There are five problems in this set. We did already one and two, first and second, yesterday on day number 35. Today we'll pick up from number number three. So let's begin, shall we? In number three, we're given a chart. I'm going to put it on the blackboard very quickly. And for the time being, we don't have to worry about what the numbers are. We'll worry about the numbers when the time comes. It looks something like this. The first one is like this. Then we have something like this. And you'll see in a second. You'll see in a second why, for the time being, we don't have to worry about what the numbers are. Because a lot of the times, if they're asking you three or four questions, you can answer one or two without actually worrying about our numbers because they are, these are general questions. So there we go. We have enough to go on. Now the second guy that you see there, the second guy, the second, the second line that you see there is a different person. That person is this person is Frank, the, this guy is Frank, and the first guy, this guy right here, is Danny. And again, I shouldn't have to make all this fuss about it because you have the book in front of you, you can see it there. Let's begin. Part A says, on what night, on what night did Danny's The fact that I spell it differently doesn't really matter. Danny's uh, tip decrease from the previous night. That's all it is. And these are days. These are these are all days. This is the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So Danny, as we already know, is the first guy. On on what night that is tip decreased from the previous night. So if you look at Danny here, this is the first line here. From Monday to Tuesday his tips went up. From Tuesday to Wednesday his tip went up. Because the first line is Danny. From Wednesday to Thursday his tip went up. But what happened from Thursday what happened from Thursday to Friday? He has less in tips. That's what it is. The answer is Friday. The answer is Friday. We really don't have to worry about how much his tip was on that day. We really don't care about how much was his tip was on Friday. Those are the numbers here because it doesn't matter. They're simply asking us on which night did his tip go up or rather go down from the previous night. The answer is it is on Friday that his tip went down, his tips went down from the previous night because on Friday he has only this much money on Friday, on Thursday he has more money because the line is a lot higher. Obviously it corresponds to a number. Part B. Let's see if we can answer part B also without actually doing any numbers. It says on what night? on what night and then they go on to say give us possibility of plural uh, or did Frank earn earn more than Danny so now we compare Frank and Danny which night did he earn more on what night did Frank? Frank is the second guy. Well, here's the first one. On Monday he earned more than Danny because the line is higher. On Tuesday he earned less than Danny. Uh, less than Danny because the line is shorter. On Wednesday also he earned less than this guy because he's shorter. On Thursday also he earned less than the other guy. Oh, there we go. On Friday, it looks like on Friday, Danny earned more than, or rather Frank earned. On Frank's line is higher right here. Frank earned more than Danny. 
So we have two nights. We have Friday night and we have Monday night. Monday and Friday. There you go. That's all there is. Let's do part C. And like I said before, when they ask us three or four questions, not every single question requires us to look at the numbers. They're looking for general trend, they're looking for general answer. Since there are only three questions here, obviously there's a good, very high chance. I have a gut feeling that the third one will, we will have to put in numbers here. So we'll see. It says C. It says the average rate of change for Frank, the average rate of change for Frank from Monday to Friday. So the first thing we need to understand is that from Monday through Friday it's not five days. That's a change of four days. Monday to Tuesday is one change of one day. There's a lapse of one day. Tuesday to Wednesday is another day that has gone by. From Wednesday to Thursday is the lapse of third day and then from Thursday to Friday is four days. It's not five days. It's important to understand that part. So it says every chart of change for Frank from Monday to Friday, every kind of change. So on the top, you're going to have the dollar amount. On the bottom, you're going to have the day. And we're looking at Friday, which is day five, and Monday, which is day one. So it's five minus one, which is why it's four. So let's find out what the, what the amount is for Friday, uh, minus what is the amount is for Monday, for Frank. So now we go through here. And if you, again, I was about to say, if you have the book in front of you, and I stop myself, because there's no such thing as if, you must have book in front of you, because that's the only way you can figure it out. On Monday, we look first of all, take, make sure you pay attention. This is for Frank. Frank is the second guy. So, this guy here. And if you look at the chart here, it shows a figure of 20. It shows a figure of 20 for, the, for Monday. That's 20. Let's see what it is for, for Friday for Frank. This is Frank. Uh, this is Friday. And the Frank is the second guy right there. We're looking, looking for this amount right here. And again, if you look at the chart, the very last one, Friday. It looks to me that it's 50. There you go. That's all that we have to do. So it's just 50, 50 minus 20, which is 30, 5 minus 1, which is 4, and that's your answer. 30 over 4, of course, we cannot leave it like this. We reduce it, top and bottom, so it becomes 15 over 2, and half of 15, half of 15 is just going to be 7 and a half. The rate of change was 7 and a half dollars per night. That was number three. Let's take a look at number four. Before we look at number four, I'm going to retire this marker because it's too light. It's not writing quite well. Number four. What should we erase? We have to erase something, obviously. In number four, we have another chart, so let's erase this chart here. Because we need the room. And again, first we're going to put down the chart itself without worrying about without worrying about the actual numbers. And if you look at the y-axis, you can do it, do it with me. If you look at the y-axis, just count how many how many increments we have, how many how many units we have. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven of them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what the numbers are, we'll worry about in a second. And then it starts from here. So it starts here. It starts here and goes up, goes up by two units. So I'm going to increase it by two units. Then it goes up by one unit. And I'm going to increase it by one unit. Then it goes down by two units. It goes down by two units. Then it goes up by three units. It goes up by three units somewhere here. Then it goes up by one unit, and then it goes up by one unit again. There you go. That's close enough. That's close enough. And if you want, you can find out this is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. 2019, the last one there. And this is 2013. Let's first answer the questions before we worry about the numbers. Maybe we can answer at least, there are four questions there, maybe we can answer at least a couple of them without having to worry about the actual numbers. A says, so this is number 
Number four, on page 185, it says the profit increased every year. As you can see, that's an utter nonsense. We don't have to worry about we don't have to worry about what the readings are here. We can clearly see from the graph that if the profit had increased every year, if the profits had increased every year, the line would have been going up straight all the way down. It did not. It went down this year, from this year to this year. What this year is and what year the, what that year is really doesn't matter. It did go down from this year to that year. But that's the only year it went down. But still, it, the fact that they're claiming that the price, uh, that the profit went up, went up every year, that 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 claim is false. A is wrong. That claim is false. B says the greatest increase. Greatest increase in profit was between 2016 and 2017. So let's let's take a closer look, shall we? So we have 2013 here, then we have 14, then we have 15, then we have 16 and 17 and 18, so forth. 16 to 17 is what we're interested in. 16 to 17. Did, is this the highest increase? The answer is yes it is. It, it goes up by three units. It goes up by three units. One, two, three units. Again, what the units are, what they're showing in Y axis, doesn't matter. That is the highest increase. Here, as you can see, from 2000 to 2014, from 2013 to 2014, it went up by two units. From 14 to 15, it went up by one unit. Then it went down by two units. Then it goes up by three units. Then it goes up by one unit, then it goes up by one unit. So that is correct. The answer is B. That is the right answer. That is the right answer because obviously what they're selling, what they're claiming in uh, what they're claiming in statement B is true. And if what they're claiming in state statement B is true, then obviously we're not about to find another statement, which is also true because you can't have two right answers. Answer is B. C says profit was zero in 2013. This is for those people this is for those people who are not paying attention. The story does not start at zero. 2013 is not zero. Zero would have been here and 2013 is there. If we don't start our story from here, the story starts from here and 2013 is not zero. Again, what it is, is, is does not concern us. We could care less as to what the profits were to, in 2013. The point here is that, is that just by visual inspection in a split second, just by looking at it, we can tell that the story does not start at zero. It started at some amount. That, that statement is false. The statement D says there were two increases of $5,000 in profit between, this is between between two thousand thirteen and two thousand nineteen. In other words, from the beginning to the end. Let's see. So now the reason they're talking about five thousand dollar increase is because these are these are increments of five thousand. If you look at the graph, if you look at the book, you will see that they're incre they're increments of five thousand. It starts at thirty, then it goes up to thirty five, forty, and so forth. So, so what they're claiming is that there were only two instances. What they're claiming is that there were only two instances where the profit went up by five thousand dollars between these years. Let's find out, shall we? From 2013 to 2014, the profit went up by ten thousand because it increased. It goes up by two units from here to here to here. There you go. From 14 to 15. There you go. From 14 to 15, it goes up by only one. From there to there. There you go. That's the first one. From here to here. The same. The same increase of five thousand. Then it goes down, so that doesn't matter to us. Then it goes up by quite a lot. There you go, there's another increase of 5,000. So we found a second one. And there's another increase right there. So it looks like the profit went up by $5,000 from previous year and on three different occasions. On three different occasions. Number one was from 2014 to 2015. We saw an increase of 5,000 in profit. Then we saw an increase of profit of $5,000 from 2017 to 2018. And again, the following year, from 2018 to 2019, again, we had an increase of $5,000. So, 
it turns out that there were three such occasions, which is why there were three such occasions, which is why D is also wrong. Of course, D would have to be wrong because we, do, we already established that the B is correct. The answer, of course, is B. Number five. In number five, on the next page, we are given a pie chart. We need the room, so I need to erase everything. But more, more importantly, we need the room, but more importantly, we need a break. Number five, we are told that we are looking at a pie chart which is we are looking for looking at a pie chart which is based on survey of two hundred people that is most important, two hundred people. Question simply is which is which is true. Step in A says country music. Country music was favorite of twenty five people. Country music C is for country music was favorite of twenty five people. Let's look at the chart, shall we? And they clearly show here this slice. This slice. This is twenty-five percent, and that's country music. We have we have country, we have rock, we have pop, we have classical, and we have other country. Well, I'm not going to write everything. Country music, rock music, pop music, classical music for K, and other. As you can see, twenty-five percent of people who were surveyed did say that their favorite music is country music. 25%, not 25 people. The statement here says country music is favorite of 25 people, not percent. That's a percent. And because this entire thing represents 200 people, therefore each one percentage represents two people. Therefore, it's not 25 people, it is 50 people. Country music was a favorite 50 people out of the 50 out of 200 people that, that were surveyed, who were surveyed, said that their favorite music is country music, which makes sense, because 50 out of 200 is 25 percent, but it's not 25 people, which is why our answer choice A is wrong. It was a favorite music, it is a favorite music of 50 people, or 25 percent, not 25 people. B. It says C, country music is preferred by five more people than pop music. So let's look at the chart furthermore. The next one we have is 35% which is rock music, 35%. So let's establish 35. So from here to here, each of these quarter of course represents 25%. So if you were to break that up into five equal parts, one, two, three, four and five, one, two, three, four, five, each represents 5%. We need 35 percent, so that's 5 and that's 5. So all of this is rock music. You can erase this thing here. This is rock and that is 35 percent. Oh, we're not looking interested in rock, we're looking for pop. Pop is 20 percent. So there you go, 5, 5, 5. Let's do another 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20. So it goes up to here. This line is going to go away. And this is pop music. This right here is a pop music. I should have drawn a line inside it. It makes it ugly. And again, the game that they're playing is that it's for those people. They're trying to catch those people who either are not paying attention or don't know how to read a chart. This chart does not represent 100 people. It represents 100% of the population, but the population is 200, because 200 people were surveyed. 
if you look at pop and if you look at classical music, it is true that five percentage more people said that they prefer country music as opposed to pop, pop music. Five percent more, not five people. It says country music is preferred by five more people. No, not five more people. It is refer it's preferred by five percent more. And since each percentage represents two people, the correct statement would have been country music is preferred by 10 more people than pop music because the difference is 5%. This doesn't say 10 more, it says 5 more, which is why it's wrong. Let's look at C. C says, C says, rock is the most popular. Most popular. Of course it is. Rock music is the most popular one because it's the biggest chunk. It's the biggest chunk. You see this slice right here? This slice is only 25%, it's quarter of a circle, this is more than a quarter of a circle. This is 20%, and then of course there are two more, we'll worry about it. But even, we don't have to worry about what those, those two are. We don't have to worry about what the next two categories are, to know that rock music is in fact the most preferred music, because it's the biggest chunk. The, the other two categories that are left over here, they have to share this space. Obviously it's less than this space. C is the answer. The correct answer is C. But just, just, just for the hell of it, let's look at, let's look at D. D says, D says, oh for Christ's sake, it says 40 people preferred The answer is C. 40 people, 40 people preferred neither rock nor country. Again, they're probably playing the same trick. 40 people preferred neither rock, rock nor country. There you go. Rock, country music is right here, 25%, rock music is right here, 25% plus 35%. People who preferred either country music or rock music, either, I said, not both, not and. People who said that they preferred country music or rock music, they constitute 60% of the population. Which means 40% of the people who were surveyed preferred neither rock nor country, 40%, not 40 people. This statement would have been correct if it had said 40%, but it says 40 people, but it says 40 people, which makes it wrong. It should have been 80 people, because 80 people represents 40%. You see, we didn't have to worry about the last two categories, but just, just so you're curious, they're split into 12 and 8, 12 and 8, which is very easy to split. You see from here, from here to here is 5 and from here to here is 10, so 8 is going to be somewhere here. So that is one category, 8%, that's another category, 12%, it would have to be 12 because they have to add up to 20, and whatever they are, what they are, really we don't care. Turns out this is classical and this is other. It really doesn't matter to us because we already found the answer. The answer was, uh, answer is, uh, the correct answer is the fact that statement C what the statement C states, which is that the rock music is the most popular one. Of course it is the most popular one, we can clearly see, it's the biggest slice. The rock music is preferred by 60%, by, by 35%. Let me erase this thing here. This is the rock music right here. It is the biggest slice. It is the biggest slice. Voila. We're going to stop right here. We're going to meet again tomorrow on day number 37 and we'll start a new, t new, ch uh, new chapter, chapter number 31, which deals with table, charts, graphs and statistics. And the most important concept that, can, that we're going to cover tomorrow is, the con is what is known as, uh, is the concept of what is known as a normal distribution. Do you know what a normal distribution is? Do you know what a bell curve is? Everybody has heard of it. Everybody knows what it looks like, 
but very few people when you are asked them what does the normal distribution measure, what does the bell curve measure, what do you show on the x and the y axis, they can't answer that. We'll learn that tomorrow, okay? In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me, if you want to work with me, if you want me to help you get ready for the exam, you can get hold of me by sending me an email. Just go to my website at kishwaniprep.com, send me an email, we'll talk some more. Also, in the meantime, if you want to get some more preparation, some more practice for the exam, you can watch the old series of videos that you will find on my channel. Look for these five. There are 80 videos, just search for these five day one and the series will pop right up. Practice those problem also. Math is math. Math does not go out of fashion just because it's an old edition. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.